Hello, welcome for another Café Rollist. And there's nothing I like more, well, there's a lot of things I like, but I do especially like to showcase tabletop role-playing game designers from Europe. And today we are with Guillaume. Guillaume, could you introduce us to your wonderful French accent and to who you are for people who don't know you yet? Oh, Some people who don't know me? It's impossible. I, Not everywhere is Japan, you know, which is something we need to discuss. I want to find out if that is an urban legend or not, uh, but Sonia. But uh, yeah, first, who, who are you? Who are you? So uh, I'm French. Uh, my accent is, uh, is speaking for me. Uh, in the real life, I'm an actor. I have a little um, theater company in Lyon. Uh, And uh, I really like uh, uh, role-play games. So uh, I played since maybe 30 years at least. And uh, I make some art for uh, uh, independent games like uh, Macchiato Monster from uh, the wonderful Wesser game uh, by Eric Newton. Who's in the chat uh, room with us? Hello, Eric. Thank you yes. for joining us. And uh, since maybe five or six years, I write uh, little games too, uh, because I uh, I always wrote uh, games because when I was a teenager, I al always plays uh, play played with games I wrote, and but now it's more um, I work more. Uh, Uh, what I did. So um, I mostly wrote uh, short games uh, from uh, one page to uh, maybe um, 25 or 13 pages because I, I like um, uh, games you can play. Uh, uh, you take the book, you read and you play without preparation or uh, uh, without uh, learning uh, 100 pages of background and uh, I really like uh, maybe like uh, um, plug and plays a uh, tabletop RPG. Yeah, it's I very interesting it's how it correct. developed this this entire scene of I, I don't know how old it is actually uh, those somewhat small role-playing games which are really one-shot oriented and you pick it you play it and then You move on to the next one uh, and uh, it's very very fast paced and so on and you got a, a big number of experiences while you know for the people who, who work and so on it's it's we don't have as much time as we used to to learn a system or the law of a, a world an entire setting yes and um i think it's uh, also um a question for, for me of uh, of uh, personality It's like uh, uh, I'm actor and I really like uh, improvisation. Uh, so one of my pleasure when I play a role-playing game is uh, it's the improvisation. So when uh, even when I was uh, younger and I played with uh, big books with a lot of uh, background and rules and Uh, most of time, I read the. I I was reading the background, and I forget everything because I want to create my own ideas. So n now, when I play, most uh, game uh, I, I play, uh, um, yeah, not only mine. Uh, I really want to give um, my imagination in this, and so when I wrote games. Uh, I like to write a game with uh, Blanc uh, and uh, design to help people to put their own imagination or sensibility in the game. So it's not rules to you know to create the um, the obstacles or uh, uh, the probability to 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 know if it's possible or not poss possible. It's more design to help people to to help them to play what they want. It's there are, there are prompts, like, like in uh, improvisational yeah. theater, they are what you feed the people so they are creative with, uh, I guess. 
Yeah. So uh, I think all the games I wrote, uh, uh, all the games, they are on Ichio. Uh, they are all in French, so I'm sorry. Uh, not uh, uh, Sonia, but I, I have maybe uh, um, 10 or something like this uh, games on Ichio in French. And most of them are uh, in this way to to give um, uh, not a story, but to give a, a, a purpose, uh, a kind of adventure. Uh, sometimes it's to play pulp advent uh, adventure. Sometimes it's to play a long journey, uh, and you you play uh, characters. And the goal of the journey is not important, but you, you have uh, rules to help. Uh, the players to create the moments they, they pass together uh, by, uh, during the travel. And most of, uh, of games like this are um, with design to help people to play this moment with their own sensibility. Uh, and except maybe uh, Milky Monsters, the <laughs> uh, Eric, hello again. Uh, Milky Monsters is a game I wrote to play with children. So it's more like uh, OSR design. It's uh, a kind of uh, Macchiato Monster baby, very light uh, in uh, ten, ten page. Yes, yes. So it's not with uh, coffee like Macchiato. It's it's why it's milky monster. And I uh, I write it for my son, and it was my son when he was eight years old who made the art of the book. Amazing. So I have. The cover, for example, I don't know. It's made by uh, paint with coffee because uh, when I, I draw for Macchiato Monster, I paint with coffee. So, so you still I, have uh, coffee in Milky Monsters then, but in the art. Yes. You didn't use yeah, milk to art. paint. Yes, and it's very light rules to to play with children and not also because I wanted a game that children can play without adults. Uh, and I think you play one or two times with uh, children and after they can play alone. And for example, my son, when he was a nine years old, he played only two times. He's, uh, I, I love role playing games, but my son don't play uh, a lot. Uh, and he played two times and he came with me in a French convention, uh, octagon, it's a role playing convention. I don't know. Uh, convention, English. yeah, yeah. Convention, yeah. And uh, I propose him to run a game with people at the convention. So wow. the first time he mastering, he, must, he mastered a game. He was nine years old and he played with one adult and two children alone without me because uh, I am in the stand to sell the books. <laughs> so he play. Uh, one uh, one hour and a half alone at nine years old. So uh, I was very proud because my son is capable to do this and my game is capable to do this too. Because, wow, I'd, uh, be, I'd be proud too. That's that's amazing. Is it available in English already? Or are there any plans for uh, translation? Yes, yes, there is a, uh, a English PDF on Ichio. Uh, the English is better than my speaking because I work with a real translator. Uh, it's not my English inside, it's a real English, I hope. Uh, uh, it's free. Uh, the two games in English on Ichio are uh, paid, pay, payant. Um, uh, you have to pay $3 for uh, Sonia or Milky Monsters because uh, I really wanted to pay the translator. It's a friend of mine, but it's uh, translator, it's a real uh, job. So I don't want to profit of our friendship to making uh, working without payments. So I sell the book and uh, we um, we share half and half. So half of the money by the, uh, selling the French and the English version uh, is for uh, to, to pay his work on uh, Milky Monster and uh, Sonia and Conan versus the ninjas. Great. I think it's important to pay people when they did their job. I, I'm actor, so I used to have people who ask me to play and to act without get paid. 
and I know what it is to. So it's. I think it's very important to, even if it's a friend, to to pay people for uh, for their job. Yeah, definitely. But we we skipped uh, uh, forward uh, and jump uh, past the the traditional question of cafe realist actually. Uh, my first question, uh, it's related to when I started this stream, uh, right at the beginning of the lockdown. Uh, what is your routine like at the moment? Uh, oh, uh, in my life in general? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, first, was it changed due to recent events? And uh, in uh, regardless, what, what is it like a day in, uh, in the life uh... of a genty... Uh, uh the, the amazing uh, it's, game designer i have a uh, as i said i'm actor in a small company so every day it's different uh, i i have no routine in my life so it, uh, it's it's good for uh, but sometimes it's uh, it's difficult too because it's impossible to for example i i don't know how i will work uh, next week and during this period of confinement, it was terrible because uh, I cannot work. It was uh, I, I was stuck uh, at home. It, it's uh, completely forbidden to to regroup people, so it's impossible to make art, to to play uh, theater. And uh, spring and summer is uh, our uh, big season for us. So I spent two months to cancel all my projects. Wow. It was terrible. Uh, yes, uh, uh, so, so, uh, I, I don't. Uh, uh, I don't became sick, but it was very short because uh, it's it's horrible to cancel all your projects. You you spend a long time to 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 build them, and now the confinement is over. We don't still have no right to to regroup a lot of person, so we can. It's impossible to to make uh, the project we cancelled. They are really cancelled. But now we can work, so we have to create new project to uh, uh, replace that to replace all the projects we cancelled. So we have to find money. We have to find partners. We have to find uh, um, create new things. So it's a very weird. Um, moment so my routine it's uh each day i i have to to create new things most of most of time um to be very uh simply uh i put my children to the school in the morning uh i go to the my company office uh for example uh monday I, uh, the morning I rehearsed uh, songs I wrote. The afternoon I sang the songs in um, uh, a psychic hospital, uh, asylum, asylum uh, or a uh, mental health institute. Yes, exact, exactly. Uh, yesterday I have meetings with partners, and the afternoon I have to um, uh, um, design. A, um, a decor uh, a set a set a set for a, a play and this morning i begin to build the set this afternoon i am with you and after i have to write um, a project to play with school and tomorrow i will new songs for the so each, each day it's um, it's different that's that's quite amazing you're really doing absolutely everything set design acting uh, yes. writing games and writing songs uh, performing uh, that's um, you're you're a real humanist you're doing uh, everything all the arts at once no i i'm a real uh, actor so i uh, i'm capable to uh, make people think i'm capable to do things <laughs> uh, <laughs> so i'm not a good singer i'm not a, a good builder i'm not a good uh, but I can do a lot of different things and make. Uh, I I know my capability, so I, I can use them to create uh, very different things. For the songs, for example, we work with a real musician, so we uh, create um, 
the, the songs we are capable to do correctly. But I'm not a singer if I have to go in a studio to, uh, to um, record, a, I don't know, real songs. Uh, uh, it was not very good, but uh, work, uh, I, uh, I wrote the song, we work with the musician and we play in live. So we give energy and uh, it's this energy which is good, not my capability of sing, uh, singing. But yes, I am, uh, I like to do a lot of things. Um, in my job, it's uh, an, a necessity because we have a very small company, so we don't have money to pay uh, to pay a lot of people. So we have to do everything by ourselves, uh, the administration, uh, uh, the meeting with the partners, uh, write the 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 plays, uh, play. Uh, build uh, the set and the costume and the props. We we and at the beginning of our company it was um, a necessity and now it's a real pleasure because uh, uh, we don't have bosses. You uh, you know we we do exactly what we want and it's a real freedom. This less of money is a real freedom for us. Even if sometimes it's difficult because we need money to to pay the rent and to buy food. <laughs> I imagine. I mean, that's, you know, uh, the, the world of theater, that's one of the things I miss, uh, the, one of the few things I miss from uh, from Belgium. Uh, I, I used to be in a uh, Conseil Culturel Cultural Committee in my town, so I would go see plays almost every week. And uh, th there's a lot of theater in London, but in nature, it's very, very different from what uh, you can find in France and uh, and Belgium. It's it's much more produced and the funding is private. Meaning the the topics and the way it's produced is also uh, quite uh, quite different. Uh, we got a lot of sympathy and uh, yeah, a lot of people are impressed in the chat room. Uh, I suspect a lot of people you already yeah. know. Uh, Cobol suspic suspiciously gay. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, but uh, yeah, today we're a bit. Let's reframe a bit uh, towards role-playing games. And, yes, uh, of course. I know. I mean, it's fine. You know, it's it's that's what the show is about. It's showing all diverse. Uh, the people from the oh wow, a prime delivery. Uh, <laughs> all things are are diverse within the community. But uh, yeah, Sonia and Conan versus the ninja. Uh, that's a. Uh, a uh, big one, or the the one which which is com somewhat popular, it seems uh, lately. Uh, tell us about it. What what is it about, and uh, how come there's an English version? I, I was told an urban le legend regarding why there's an English version. I I'm curious to hear if it's if it's true. Uh, the English ver version, the PDF exists on Nichio, uh, and in French, we uh, I have a. Um, Sonia and Conan uh, versus the Ninja in PDF, in uh, print on de on demand, but only in French and an extension, uh, an exten extension uh, add-on, uh, yes. uh, hack maybe, Supple supplement, uh, hack. yeah, uh, called uh, Cowboy and Extraterrestre to play uh, with the same rules, uh, uh, a kind of mix between uh, Western spaghetti and um, uh, retro science fiction, vintage science fiction. But what, what is and Sonia and Conan? Because I played yes, it. Yes, what is Sonia? Yes. But the others it's, don't it's, know. It's this, yeah. I have, I have also the t-shirt. Yeah. It's because you, uh, for my you... birthday. Uh... <laughs> I love the art, my by wife, the way. Yeah. Uh, anything, I'm a, I'm a sucker for anything. Uh, uh, just in two colors like that, uh, and uh, I just really, really love the design. Thank you, thank you. So uh, the game—it's a really simple game, I think. Uh, the idea is 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 really simple. It's to uh, create um, pulp uh, stories, uh, short uh, with energy and fun, like uh, you know the. The short story, um, the, the real Conan story, they are very short, uh, 30 pages, or like um, the uh, uh, B movies. Uh, it's like to create um, 
uh, fun, simple, and maybe naive stories. And it's work, um, how to explain this uh, simply? Most of the time in, in role-playing games, we have uh, one uh, master and uh, several players. Here, it's mostly the inverse. We have one uh, player who play uh, the barbarian, and all um, the rest of the players are the ninjas. And the ninjas are like the, the master of the game. They are here to uh, create the story. And also they have to um, to reach, I'm not sure, of, uh, to reach uh, an evil plot. I'm not sure of reaching. Uh, to, to unleash, yeah, they, they got a scheme and yeah. they, they want it to, uh, to happen. So one of the players play the, the barbarian, is the hero of the adventure, and the rest are the, the bad, the, the villains, and they tell the story only by scene with the barbarians, and only by um, uh, telling scene with the barbarians, they, they have to, to, um, to, to reach their evil plot. Uh, to play, uh, so uh, it's uh, just by uh, creating uh, creating a scene. There is each time a ninja said uh, begin a, a scene. So he said uh, maybe now the barbarian is uh, uh, on the top of the mountain and he he see uh, uh, a dragon coming uh, to him and starting breathing fire. So, Barbarian, what are you doing? And the uh, player who played Barbarian uh, just say what he, he, he do. Uh, he have two choice. He can use a Barbarian uh, move. There is a six move of the Barbarians. Uh, uh, I have, where are they? So, he, 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 can choose to uh, tear a powerful enemy limb from limb to make them uh, regret being born. Uh, mow down a horde of henchmen without, without breaking a sweat. Jump, run, climb, and fall without fear of danger, etc. And if he you if he use one of his uh, barbarian move, uh, he can uh, he succeed, of course, and he can uh, tell the what happened. At the end of the scene, is he, he become the master of the scene? He can finish as he wants. If he and he have to to um, cush, uh, to um, check yeah. uh, his move, I, he cannot use uh, it uh, after, or he can do a non unglory move. Uh, and to do an unglory move. You roll a, a die, a six dice, a, a die with six faces, and the number, it's the uh, number of words he can use to tell what he wants to do. So if he did, if he do, uh, if he does one with his die, he just has uh, one word to do to to tell what he wants to do, and after the ninja can finish the, the scene. So, uh, and he can uh, un, uncoche uh, <laughs> uh, one of his uh, barbarian moves to, uh, to, to, to have it uh, after. So for the action uh, scene, it's always like this. The ninja tell what happened. The barbarians uh, use a barbarian move or an unglory move to tell what he, did, what he want to do. And we we create the story like this. Uh, we can have also a dialogue scene. For the di dialogue scene, the, it's the same. The, the ninja uh, begins the scene, tell uh, no, you have with uh, a sorcerer and he want to, uh, to speak with you. And the ninjas uh, play the NPCs. And the barbarian rolled two dice. Six, uh, six faces die. Uh, the first die is the number of sentences he can use uh, before uh, getting uh, hungry. 
and the second word uh, die is the name number of word it can use for each sentence. So it creates uh, with there is uh, over rules, but these these rules create a very fast and uh, epic uh, action scene and dialogue very uh, percussive, uh, uh, crunchy. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's very fun to play. It's uh, every time it's the same thing. Every time the the one who plays Barbarian think uh, it's quite difficult to find uh, ideas without uh, with only one or two words. And after uh, ten or uh, ten minutes of playing, um, he. Uh, this this uh, rule he helped him to play re uh, a real barbarian and when the die uh, uh, get uh, uh, give him a, a six you have six words to make a sentence each time the the, uh, the person who played bar barbarian say six but it's too much I don't need six words to, to tell what I want to do and so it's very fun because it it creates uh, uh, party you, you you play one hour one hour and a half without no preparation and it's very punchy very epic very uh sometimes uh, what the fuck it depends uh, of the player and uh we lost a lot because uh was um, uh, dialogues without just one or two words for the barbarians it's very very fun and when you play um uh with your computer in virtual games it's sometimes a bit difficult because you don't see your partners uh, but it works but when you play uh, on the table with friends it's very good because uh, the barbarians don't have a lot of words so without thinking the player uses body to ex to to say what he wants to so when you have a barbarians you ask him to save a, to, to save a village or a whatever, and he just do something like this and he, and he say, no, it's enough. And, you, uh, and it's better than uh, uh, the, the player who speech, who talk during 10 minutes and no, I don't want to save the village because you know, I'm a barbarian, I want to be free. Uh, and the, the the goal of the game it's exactly that it's to create the situation to uh, to help people to play in a pulp uh, a pulp mood a pulp uh, uh, ooh, I don't know uh, how to say it correctly in English but uh, to help people to, to to play pulp with uh, and uh, to not spending time to ask uh, ask him uh, ourselves uh, what I want to do, what I want to say, uh, not just play. And for the ninjas, it's like, you know, uh, as I said, uh, the, uh, the role of uh, the MC, the master of the game, but you are two, three or four master. So you don't have to have a lot of ideas because you have uh, you have uh, a multi-brained uh, villain, and when some uh, when one of the ninjas say something, one of her uh, add uh, new things, and the story is very organic, and it uh, all the ideas come by themselves, and you don't have you have some tools to help you. You have little cards where you you can write before. Uh, a character, uh, a place, the plot of the ninja. So uh, you have tools to help you to create the, the story. But the, the most important thing for me is that you are not alone. And if you, are, if you have um, four brains to find ideas, it's easy to always find ideas. And it's easy to create uh, surprising things. You don't have to create... To, to have uh, very original ideas, the, just the, the thing that the uh, story uh, passed from different people, it, it's always crea uh, creating surprising moments in, in the story. Yeah, so, what I really liked with the, the dialogues of the, the, the Bavarian was, uh, 
you would have even allied NPC would show up and so the, the three game masters, the, the ninja, we start playing that NPC and they, they might have kind of a dramatic background story that we develop and they, they go on telling their story, oh my story was that and this, my father, so on. And, and then the barbarian just answers one thing and, and the idea <laughs> is that the, the villain or the NPCs in general just assume a lot from that word so they pretty much hear what they wanted to hear from the barbarian they're like yeah yeah I can tell that we are kindred spirit for that single world you, single word that uh, that you just said uh, I need to comment your improvisation of skills Guillaume because people who might uh, just hearing this and not seeing this on video uh, my son is not sleeping he's been rather wild so I was busy in the background doing things why you were uh, uh, explaining so well your game? Uh, from because I still had the earphones though. Uh, I used to uh, uh, when I play um, uh, theater. Uh, I play most of time outside uh, in a popular district. My company used to to play in uh, where people don't used to have um, uh, access to the culture, and uh, every time when I play. I have people who come, go, who speak to me when I am playing. So I used to have a special audience when I'm speaking. It's not a problem for me. So I've heard uh, someone told me two things. First, they told me that through a, maybe you'll know, a random set of events, your game is quite popular in Japan. And I was told that the reason it's some people, some fans, uh, starting to be, in, appear in uh, in Japan that was one of the reasons why you made an English version. So is that an urban legend which is starting to to be spread around, yes. including by myself, or is it is it true? What's the truth behind that? Truth. That's the question: Is the truth is really important, <laughs> <laughs> or is this, the, the, I think um, the re, the real story it's uh, when the the game be, began to be uh, popular in France. Uh, when I write, uh, wrote it, I didn't think that other people uh, uh, as me could uh, like it. Because uh, uh, at the start, when I wrote the uh, French version, it was for two reasons. It was after uh, a games I played with friends and there is a lot, a lot of speaking during the games. And I feel oh, it's boring. We we don't play. We are always speaking, and the character was speaking and didn't act. So I wanted to have a game uh, with action. And the second reason it, it was the beginning of the year, uh, the New Year's Day, and I said, uh, yeah, my resolution for this year is I begin the year by writing a new game. So the French uh, games come like this, and I play with friends and with the friends, there is Jean Clément, Jean Clément No, je sais pas si nous écoute, I don't know if he is listening, who is the transla translator guy. And uh, he really liked the game and he wanted to write an English version. So I said, if the, if the, the French version I, I, uh, give us some money, okay, I pay you and you can make the English version. So we did it. And I put the English version on Ichio and no one knows me. So it make a big flop. No, uh, no, no, no one uh, in, in America, in England uh, knew uh, with, his, uh, with this guy, Guillaume Jantet, with this strange game and nobody was interested by my game. But I don't know why a Japanese guy like it read it uh, before the English version. Uh, I think he, 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 he download the French version knowing he, he could not read it. So I tell him uh, when I will have the English version, I, I give it to you. So I, uh, when I, uh, before he, he, he has to pay it because he, he buys the French version, <laughs> I, uh, I send him the, the English version, and he really like it. And after, I have maybe half of the selling I have 
are from Japan. So maybe he turned to friends and, and he proposed me to write a Japanese version. And wow. another friend of mine, uh, Mathieu Leokmak, uh, is uh, another friend I used to play with, uh, speak and write very good Japan. And he, his wife uh, is a Japanese uh, woman. So actually, the Japanese version is um, not ready, but almost the first uh, je, le, the first uh, version of the Japanese version is uh, is done. So now there is a lot of uh, work uh, to make it good and uh, and the layout and, and uh, etc. The Japanese cover is done too. It was very fun to see uh, my uh, my drawing with. Uh, Japanese character. Uh, so my, my t-shirt is the Japanese uh, version. Of so course, maybe it's like the, the poster for Amélie Poulain, Amélie uh, for French, English speakers. The, yeah. the Japanese one is just gorgeous with Amélie written uh, in Japanese on it. And it's like uh, to see uh, a Star Wars in Japan. Uh, I, I yeah. was in Japan a uh, few, few days, a few years ago. Uh, it was when the episode one of the Star Wars uh, was coming in theater, and I uh, said, "Okay, I want to see. Uh, I, I, I want. I, I want to see uh, Star Wars in Japanese." And I came to a, um, a, a cinema in Tokyo, and when it began, I see all the yellow letters, you know, ta -da, ta -da, and in yellow letters, everything in Japanese. And, oh my gosh, it's incredible! <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> It was, it was very, and it's it's very good because uh, Star Wars you don't have to understand the, the text to understand the story. So uh, I can see the movie in Japanese. It was very very incredible. It must be interesting the you know this mechanic of uh, sometimes having to express your yourself in a set number of words, and sometimes just a single word. Uh, in French and English it works. In Japanese. Uh, I have very basic knowledge, basic is overstating it, knowledge of Japanese, I guess it would work. But knowing also a bit of Dutch and German, I guess in German or Dutch that wouldn't work as well. Because you got those words which are yeah, yeah, very yeah. long. <laughs> like, like in Dutch, I think it changed recently. Uh, there's a more modern word, word but now in, in Dutch the longest word used to be an exhibition of Otento natives tents, so an Otento tenton stelling. So that would be still one word. <laughs> so the, I'm, I'm curious, in, the, in Japanese, did you run into, was it still working, though, this just seeing a single word? I think in, uh, I, 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 I don't really, uh, I don't speak uh, Japanese, but I, I knew a bit. Uh, and I think in Japanese, it, it could be very interesting because um, uh, the language, the uh, Japanese language is very precise. And when you use uh, words, it's to create the, the good way of, of, of talking. So you, you can uh, make you uh, understand with only one word, but it's very rude. <laughs> and uh, and I think it's very good for the game because you play barbarian. Yes. And the barbarian, when he speak with one word, it's totally understandable, but it's very rude. And yeah. I think it's, it's very good uh, for the game. Yeah, like the, the few things I remember, it's stuff like, uh, I would like some shoes. Uh, just the, requesting shoes in a shop is actually uh, uh, kutsu o kudasai, which means uh, shoes, please. And the, the please is important. That's a bit on which you make the request. But if you're a buyer, you are just like shoes. <laughs> just a terrible individual <laughs> yeah. in Japanese society. So yeah, I could see that working very well uh, with the barbarian being this just uncivilized uh, mass <laughs> of muscles just going this way, saying things like green tree. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other gaming projects uh, in store? Uh, no, I, I have to finish uh, illustration. I, uh, during the confinement, uh, I had uh, a lot with, of, um, uh, of the were uh, commissions. 
people people who ask me some uh, some art for uh, for games so i spend a lot of time to to draw and uh, i have to finish the last one um and after uh, i will see I, I have maybe uh at least 10 or 12 ideas of games i have to choose uh, <laughs> the next uh, i will uh, work on um i have i have ideas of um not i'm, I'm not sure if it's, it will be games of or uh, setting for uh, for game but i really want to to work on um uh, um the how oh, oh, say this um tell me in french most of want. time most of time in in games you have uh one uh master and several uh players or maybe non uh master uh, games uh without uh, master and i want to work on the third character i want to create a game with a master a player and another person with a different role uh because I, I maybe i use things i uh from theater and I, I really like when i play to create the uh les rapports entre les gens les uh, you know um, uh, how people re report our uh, relationships yeah and between characters and also between players uh, it, uh i think it could uh, i uh, for example I don't know if it's gonna be the, the the next game I will work on, but I have a real envy um, um, of playing with uh, one MC with uh, a scenario very classic, maybe a quest. Uh, you uh, you are uh, uh, a knight and you have to defeat a dragon, maybe a very classical uh, scenario. And the role of the MC is to make a, a one player play this scenario you have the player he play the hero maybe the knight with uh, um, traditional uh, rules uh, i don't know exactly what rules uh, maybe i i i like uh, pbta uh, it's kind of rules i i, I like but it be could be osr or, or whatever and the third so he, he have to play this scenario like a traditional uh, RPG, he, his mission is to to have an adventure and and defeat the dragon. And the third player play the ghost of the father or a mother or uh, of the hero. Maybe like Obi Wan Kenobi with uh, with Luke, you know, something like this. Or maybe uh, like a, a little devil on your shoulder who give you advice. And the real goal of the game is not to to know if the knight would be able to kill the dragon. It, uh, the real goal is to know if the hero would be able to um, uh, s'emanciper. Uh, uh, to, to... Uh, I guess you can say emancipate once. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um... to 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 be free from the. Um, uh the ghost uh, and the, the the ghost of your father for example and the people who, who play the ghost the only thing you can do is to give advice or to uh, to say no you don't have to to do like this because uh, uh we are knight we have to be with honor etc et so you have like a, a, a counselor it's correct maybe a mentor, a a mentor figure or yeah an advisor and there is a and there are there is a, a mechanic uh with a um, token if uh, the the hero follow your your uh, your advice and it succeeds so your advice are good so you 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 win token and uh, if if he failed uh following your advice so your advice is is not good so uh, you lose token and you play to, to know if the the ghost will be uh, uh, will have a total uh, emprise, uh, a, a total um, uh, uh, you know, 
a control if, uh... Uh, yes a total control of the of the hero or if the hero can get free and uh, could be a, a person by himself it's so I, I love that concept because you know one of the thing uh my very first role playing game was star wars d6 and uh, i'm a big star wars game but one thing i always removed from my star wars games almost completely if not completely is Jedi <laughs> because I, I I just find it it doesn't quite work uh, to to have them played, but I would love to play a Jedi with that concept and you got to read a thing of with Ray or Luke and you got the 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 Force Ghost of someone and you know even characters like <laughs> Kylo Ren in the the new movies which are okay do they go along the path which is straight for them or do they sway from this and uh, manage to be exactly, yeah. sovereign and free uh, free of all of, of their destiny and so on I think that that would be that would be very very cool and I, I don't know any European yeah. game doing that so that would be super cool and uh, what is fun in, in this project what I, I like is the, the role of the MC is uh, the MC have to be uh, we uh, we uh, must have a lot of humility because is not the one who, who is important. The story is 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 less important than the relationship between the hero and the ghost. So the MC is just here to uh, give a, a setting to to make this relation exist. And uh, most of the time, the MC of a game is quite the most important person because he play all the character uh, he play to see uh, his story and and here the, the MC is more like uh, uh, someone uh, that is here to help and not uh, for the the final purpose or something like this you know if I have a, a comparison with my job uh, of uh, acting uh, in theater, we have two roles. We have the director, you know, the, the metteur en scène, the one who who um, directs the, the the actors, who maybe sometimes writes the the play and and shows everything. And we have also we we don't really speak about it's um, uh, the director, the uh, celui qui dirige les comédiens, uh, the one who help the actors to play correctly. Okay, yeah, so that's and a different. Uh, I, I yes, wasn't aware of that, so most of the most of time it's the same person, but it's not the same way to to work, because the, the director is here to um, to control everything and to build the the play, and the the, the actor director is the one who help the actor to uh, go as far as they can in their own proposition you know like um, is that like i guess it's yeah. not quite the same but it reminds me you got the executive producer for a movie who brings everybody together the financing and i, I guess uh it, it depends on the project but they, they would have a a say in the the artistic view and qualities of things and then you have a, a director and again it depends of productions but in some production you got a director who are less uh engaged in the editing and they, they don't do that much beside shooting uh which is sometimes a good or a bad thing and and then you you got the the actors i, I guess is that something a bit akin to that i don't i don't know but i don't know how it is working in, in, in cinema but uh Sometimes you, you can see uh, when you you go to see uh, theater uh, shows plays. Sometimes you have a very very uh, good set. Uh, you have uh, amazing uh, uh, costumes and everything. It's very precise. But um, the 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 actors are not very um, balanced. You know, it's like they are not very balanced because sometimes. The one who, who speak too loud. There is one who uh, who um, is very uh, natural. He play very natural, and one other play very theatral. So you can say that you have a very good director, but not a really good uh, actor director because he okay. let 
um, uh, the actors uh, choosing for themselves. Uh, it's caricatural what I say now. It's, yeah, uh, no, but I, I can. But I can. But it, it, it exists. Yeah. yeah, it exists. I remember. <laughs> I remember plays like that uh, where where things were were not quite tuned, and it, it it gets odd very fast actually when when suddenly the the performance is not quite a line or it's just that bit too much it can make your your scena scenography and the way you approach things uh quite and when i uh, <laughs> i teach theater i i really want to to in that way to help my uh students or uh people i, I make theater uh, with to to find their own way to to play and to go um to stick the emotion to, uh... and when I, I am playing role playing games, when I, uh, uh, I think I did the same. I do the same. I, I really want um, to help the players to, to, to play their own character. And uh, I, I really, I really like to, I really like characters. I sometimes, maybe because I'm actor, I think uh, the character uh, stories are maybe more important than the, the whole stories. It depends on the game, of course, because, uh, but uh, I really like, you know, a, a game like uh, Mask. It's a. Uh, I love uh, Masks, uh, new TV, generation. TV, TV, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's a perfect uh, game for for this because you can really <coughs> create a, a story by the story of the of the characters. Yeah, there's been a lot. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing, but there's been a lot of focus on storytelling. And when you listen to, I don't know if it's the right word, pundits and podcasts and vlogs, there's so much about storytelling, the arcs, and so on, and. And at first I was very enamored with the sort of things and since then I realized that actually what I prefer is those moments when I forget myself in the game. So I'm more interested in emotions, living emotions of character, of a situation or of a scene rather than really the, the arc of things. And as a player, uh, that's why I'm a bit on the fence with a, a lot of PBTA games uh, and uh, Mask is the exception because often they take you from that first person being in character to a third person of taking part in the into the storytelling and it and it, it tends of pulling me out you know it breaks the bubble of that illusion of being mm -hmm. somebody else for a while or at least it, it goes against it so so yeah uh we're running out of time but we got a, a, a couple of questions by eric he posted a lot of questions i'm gonna start with the simplest one uh and, and then just a second uh and not the third because we don't have time uh so the first one is so what? yeah i ahead. can uh, answer to where's the best coffee in Velorban. yeah uh, <laughs> of course it's in my house so uh if you want to drink a, go a good coffee you just have to come uh, uh at home and i uh, i pay you i uh i make you a, a good coffee awesome well, so uh, eric it's when you want as soon as the uh, the lockdown is over, so I was telling Eric uh, I'm renewing. Uh, I know uh, it, it's not uh, easy, but uh, if there's any chance, you can join us at the end of November, early December. I'm not quite sure to Dragon Meet here in London. That would be great. You got direct flights uh, to London. Uh, I know because this month's episode was recorded at Trolluna in Lyon, so so. Uh, yeah. That's going to be a, this month's episode. And so what does the Eric ask? Do, do you know if the indie RPG scene uh, have been more creative in the, the global lockdown? And I would like even extend that question. Uh, of course, theater, you cannot perform, but do you think a lot... I mean, it's a bit weird, but did people had more time to, to write plays or develop projects, you think, while being in lockdown? Uh, so uh, I, I think I didn't understand the question. Sorry. Uh, so do you think uh, game designers like you have been more creative as a result of the, the lockdown and maybe interacting with one another a bit more? I, I, I really don't know. For me, it was very difficult because um, uh, I have a lot of stress because I didn't know uh, for my job or it can, yeah. 
if I can continue to, to work, etc. Uh, so to don't get crazy, uh, my uh, birthday was during the lockdown. So I said, uh, I will uh, wrote a game for my birthday. It's uh, only in French, I'm sorry. It's a game to play a birthday like uh, a hobbit, like Bilbo. Oh. So uh, you play, uh, uh, and the day of my birthday, I, I put the game uh, uh, free. It's free, it's, you don't have to pay. It's my it's my present, like a, you know, the hobbit, make present uh, for the birthday, they give present to the, the guest. So uh, the game is free and I ask, people to play it for my birthday so uh, i have friends who play it i play with the game with my kids and my wife and it was very fun to have a, a bilbo anniversary for my real birthday but after that it was very very difficult so for me usually it's more easy it's not the time uh, the, the way to say it could be uh, a bit pretentious to say that it's easy to write a game but uh, sometimes it's more easy for me to to write and to create a game. For this one, I have all the ideas, all the things, but it was so stressful to be locked down and it's transparent that it, uh, I, I I I was not uh, think uh, creative uh, as usual. Um, I don't know why because I, I had time. Uh, I see a lot of very good things during the very good games, uh, just new games. So I think a lot of people were very, very, very creative, but uh, I, I was not. I was not. Uh, I even uh, stopped playing because um, I was not in the mood. Uh, it's, it was a very strange moment. Uh, for me, but uh, I, I read. Uh, can I uh, speak of one French game I really like? Yeah, definitely. You, you plug away. Uh, it's you wish to. it's on on uh, itch.io too. It's in French. Uh, the, the the name of the game is Bull, like bubbles. It's a very beautiful, poetic, and uh, elegant games. It's very simple. Every players play a character in a private submarine, a very small submarine. So you create uh, your character with his personality and what kind of submarine, you, it could be very uh, weird, it could be very normal as you want. And together we create one uh, mission, why we are in both submarines and uh, and the mechanic is very simple. Uh, each time one player uh, tell what happened to his character in the submarine. It couldn't be what he wants. And he roll a die, uh, 20 faces uh, die, on uh, emotion uh, wheel. And he, so he pick, he pick up an emotion. So uh, most of the time in the game, you have uh, things happen, so it makes you in certain emotion. And this game, it, it's it's in the other uh, sense, other way. You have your emotion, and you have to imagine what happened to my character to put me in that emotion. And it was the first time I, I see uh, a storytelling games uh, that works like this. So, for example, when we play, we fight uh, um, hunters who want to take uh, octopus, uh, magical octopus, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, at the end, we win. And uh, it was my turn to tell what happened. I rolled the dice, and the emotion was sadness. Why my character is sad? Uh, we win, and my character is sad. I have to uh, imagine why. I, I become sad, and it was very, very. Uh, it's very clever because you you really have to uh, to create a story that is uh, intimate for for your character. You have to, and I it's ten pages 
12 pages maybe. It's very simple, it's very poetic. You can uh, uh, create a story uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, our world, could be uh, something with magic, it could be something. When we played, we are in a kind of um, uh, steampunk uh, setting and everything is working, everything is simple. You just have to listen to your uh, partner, the other players, and to think at what happened to your character. It's a very, very beautiful game. So, Bull, uh, Bubbles in English, but it's only in French. Bull on, uh, sur, sur Riccio, c'est un joli petit bijou. It's a very, very, very beautiful game. Yeah. Uh, my games are uh, on each year. Uh, Sorry, just gonna. Uh, most... uh, I just yeah. realized my microphone was off for the stream. So uh, I was just encouraging Guillaume to uh, run his game uh, at uh, online conventions and also saying that uh, actually the translator of Sonia vs. Con and Conan vs. the Ninja will run a session or two at Roleplay Test, which is a Birmingham based group which moved online. And I will include a, a link in the in the Discord. And on that, yes, sorry, Gio. <laughs> uh, do you have one last thing to say? Uh, what's your goodbye? And where can people find you if you you wish to be found? So uh, you can find me on Twitter. To uh, uh, you can uh, find my games on uh, each dot uh, uh, so most of them are in French, but uh, Sonia and Milky Monster are in English. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I ask three dollar for the game, but if you are very kind, you can send me a message and I give you free. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my heart, uh, all the drawing I made, uh, mostly for uh, RPGs, are on. Uh, I have a little site. Um, website uh i think if you uh if you tap um uh, guillaume jantet uh, my uh, can i write in the i don't know if i can write on the um, i found it on the uh chat. is it your wix site yes okay i will site. i will include the link so it's uh, guillaume jente uh dot wix site dot com uh, slash rpg uh, art. uh and, uh, but yeah. I will Include a link to this uh, caffeinated and sometime, website. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you can find me on some Discord. Uh, uh, Discord. Uh, but, but most of things, uh, Twitter, uh, my uh, site, Twix, uh, my Wix uh, site for the drawings, and Ichio for the games. It's the, the better way to find me. And in Lyon, <laughs> if you are French. If you come in Lyon or uh, uh, each year I, I go to Octagon, that's it's a, a RPG convention in Lyon. And that's all. I'm a way to say goodbye. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, uh, in in we speak a lot about uh, theater. So 
in theater in theater to to say good luck in english uh i think you say break your leg something like this break your leg like in, yeah. uh, in french we yeah. don't say good luck because good luck in is french bad luck. yeah in french we say merde but it's, merde. Um, <laughs> merde it's uh, shit we say merde uh, so uh, i wish you merde for uh, everything for uh, uh, and i hope uh see you Calum, uh in for real uh, one day yeah for sure and uh, i i hope that people uh uh that were here and listen to us uh, maybe one day we can play together i don't know and uh, i hope you enjoy my games of course um i already did thank and... you real for the invitation it was very very cool well thank you for joining me it was great and uh, it, it's been nice uh, uh recently interacting more with you uh online and uh, yeah hopefully i'll be back in lyon one day uh, if people are curious about lyon uh, or this month's episode at the end of the episode will be about trollin which is a very uh uh what's the word uh uh, popular it's, uh, Alibaba Cavern. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very Cavern popular. Of, uh, it's yeah. a it's a known name of a game shop uh, across all uh, tabletop RPG fans, and it's based in Lyon. And uh, who knows if uh, one day I manage to have more supporters via Patreon, or I don't know, win the lottery, or have a fancy job, which I don't keep losing. Uh, maybe I would be able to come to Octagon one day. That would be uh, that would be quite cool and uh, find everybody who speaks English there and uh, interview them for for the show. Thank you, everyone. Thanks and maybe the, the last thing. Yeah. The last thing is uh, I uh, ask you to apologize my terrible uh, English, but it was cool to practice it a bit. <laughs> maybe next time uh, I will be better. For yeah, well, you know, you, you should be running Sonia and Conan. You shouldn't hide behind your yeah. translator. The two of you should be running games, so you you maximized the the number of demonstration you you're doing then. So yeah, yeah and I, I will try to hook you up with podcasters and streamers. So yeah, if there are streamers out there interested in running Sonia, uh, I know you're you're keen to um, to have some actual play of Sonia and Conan and your other games uh, yeah. happening. So feel free to, to yes, reach it, out. It, it's a good way to make uh, the, the game could be known by uh, non-French people. Okay. On and that. so English people, you have to you have to play the game to, because um, uh, it's an English game. And for now, only Japanese people play it. So you have to play in. I, I wrote the game in your language. You have to play with it. Please. Well, you can say like many artists. <laughs> at least I was big in Japan. So yeah, yeah I was the big final in Japan. tap of uh, <laughs> French role playing games. <laughs> On that, goodbye, everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye.